Oh, and ever um, oh, there's a lot of uh, super chats that I'll read, and I'll, I'll play you guys the new uh, Owen Benjamin parodies in a little bit. And then we're gonna talk about um, Muhammad Ali and a couple other stuff. Hey, BB, can I be verified as Trash Panda Bear? Welcome, Trash Panda Bear. What is your opinion on dating a single mom? Uh, it's 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 high intensity, but I'm not against it. Did she like leave the guy and he was like a good guy, or was it like I need way more information? That isn't a uh, a um. That isn't a, like a, a deal killer. It's just there's more factors. You know, no problem with it if it was like the split up or whatever made, made the dad not around. If it was like totally understandable and you get along with the kid and she's a really cool person and she wants to have kids with you as well if you want kids. Um, that's totally cool. It's complicated, but it, you know, I, I'd prefer strong, um, males in the house. You know, the number one most vulnerable place to put a child is in a single mother home. And listen, I think that's one of the reasons the deep state is so into single moms, because it's like, if you want to abuse a kid, the single mom has to work and is busy and all this shit. And they just have a kid. And that kid doesn't have that male around them being like, stay the fuck away from my kid. And so it's, uh, if you're a good guy, I mean, please just help strengthen the family. Love always wins. Jesus loves you, Owen. And so does Jordan Peterson. Yeah, man, I don't hate Jordan Peterson. He's just, he's a, a manipulative wizard. And me, he's a perfect example of some of the shit that I'm talking about to the point where that's why I call him out. Because I'm trying to show people like, look, look at this, this, this. I have, I'm not trolling. You know, I don't want him to respond. I don't care. I, I'm using him as a, a way to show a very complicated theory. And some people are like, yeah, but BB, Big Bear, that's what they call me. Jordan Peterson helped my life. Like I was a mess. Like Jordan Peterson saved me. I was like, you saved yourself. That's the thing that charlatans and wizards try to make you think. They try and make you think that your salvation, your good fortunes, your getting out of bed in the morning comes from them. It does not. It comes from right here. Your connection with truth. You don't even have to believe in God to, to know what I'm talking about. You can be an atheist and logically understand that that is not from Jordan Peterson. And the fact that people think that is weird to me. It's like, no, he can, like, ba like bad people can inspire people to do great things. Like Adolf Hitler. You know, not a good guy, but the Holocaust was necessary. That's a joke for those of you with autism. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, and your family inspires me to live as if I could have a family. Please do more serious stuff like hoaxed. Can I be verified as Light Fighter Bear? Welcome, Light Fighter Bear. You have a family, baby. The bears. You know, my uncle Ron never had kids and he was an unbelievably powerful influence in my life and just family, dude. Family's family. I highly recommend having kids, but if you can't for some reason or you missed that window, dude, family is family. That connection, that love, it doesn't have to come from cock and balls to ovaries and egg. You give me hope that many also open their eyes to all this nonsense. It's, it, it, this is a period of eye-opening. There's, there's a period of enlightenment right now. There's a period of revealing. And it's it's happening. You know, there's always going to be people that, that won't. But that's fine. This is a, a period of growth. That's why I'm trying to do my part and not just analyze my stand-up clips or talking about, like, um, you know, the pyramids and shit. I want to be able to give people information for the, the culture war, you know? No need to read. Nah, that's, I can read. Love your streams and message. Wanted to support you. Also figure out how the super chat works. Also uploaded my first video to YouTube yesterday. Clip of your John Len uh, Lennon segment from yesterday. Okay, I hope. More than okay. Please support Carrie O. All right. It's, it's, this is the funniest part sometimes. It's like the people doing cool stuff are like also like have all this like crazy amounts of humbleness. Humbleness is good, but... They don't want any, like, they don't want people to know that they're, like, putting up clips. It's like, no, you, so let's spread this shit. Let, let's support your YouTube channel. C-A-R-R-I-E-O-K-I-E-R. -R -E -E so subscribe to her and 
I'm assuming it's a, a girl. I mean, her name's Carrie, but I guess there's guys named Carrie. I don't fucking know. Oh, the irony of building credit card debt to talk to you. Money will uh, well spent, Big Bear. P.S. Was Kevin Spacey's Let Me Be Frank video calling out the elites? Um, I don't appreciate that you're going into any kinds of debt to talk to me, by the way, unless you're just trying to build credit. That's why you should have credit cards, by the way. You don't want to have no credit cards, but always pay it off. Um, Let Me Be Frank was, was just so fucking weird. I, I can't analyze it. As speculative as I seem sometimes, I really don't guess as much as you think I do. I have no idea what that sick bastard was talking about with that. But it was very creepy and manipulative, and it was crazy wizardry. You know, and he's like, you're too smart for that. Like, he's, these are all tactics to get people to like you. It's, it's very horrifying. High IQ can be dangerous. Runs in my fam. Dad has Asperger's. Mom is bipolar. Sis has social anxiety, but is in Mensa. I have borderline personality, and other cis highest IQ of us committed suicide. Yeah, try telling that to someone who's really dumb. They'll be like, yeah, no, you're being, you're bragging. I, I trust me, I know. Uh, don't, because it's, it's kind of like what, like Jordan Peterson has a, a fairly high IQ. It's like the maps of meaning thing is self-delusion. It takes discipline when you're a smart person to not just start restructuring the world to fit your needs and your will and your wizard shit. A lot of wizardry comes from high intelligence. Because you can shift the whole system in your head until your words make people do shit for you. And that's when people go crazy. Like, I'll show you some, some of Peterson's recent shit. I got a video of him talking to Don Jr. He's kind of going insane. Like, you can't, you can't know the, the knowledge of God. Like, you can't be your own creator on any level. And even if you feel like you can, you can't. If I sell some stocks, can I save on capital gains tax if I wanted to invest in property? Does that still exist and translate one type of another? I don't know. I know that if you sell one property and have capital gains and buy another property, you can avoid the capital gains tax if you've lived in it a certain amount of years and whatnot. I don't know about stocks. I don't have a lot of stocks. I have a retirement fund because I have Roth IRAs to avoid paying taxes on certain money, but I don't, I don't understand the stock market. I'm glad I didn't tell everyone to sell their stocks, by the way, because it did just go up a thousand points. You know, intuitively, I would say bail, bail, bail when it drops, but that's the time when you should buy because historically that's when it goes up. All that shit to me, it doesn't make logical sense. I would rather invest in someone's business or buy a cheap property that I understand and rent it out than these stocks. I don't know how Facebook has any value anymore. Like it's a Ponzi scheme. Netflix doesn't make money. You know, the, the combination between the government and capitalism makes it so I can't figure out any of it. It's almost like a drunk monkey behind a, a, the wheel of a car. Like I never know where it's going to turn. Can I be verified as Owen can handle criticism bear? Thanks. Yes, of course. Welcome. Owen can't handle criticism bear. Can't handle criticism bear. Um, you're obviously wrong. It's I, I can't handle, um, I can handle anything. I don't tolerate verbal bullshit. You can criticize me all day. I mean, if you've been here more than a day, you know that people have told me tough truths and um, I've grown from it. And the amount of things I've grown thinking about and the, the positions I've shifted and the knowledge I've learned from listening to criticisms is enormous. I don't listen to people being like, you're such a fucking idiot. I hope you kill yourself. You're so wrong about Jordan Peterson. That's not criticism. That's psychosis. Like you're, no. I may, I may ban this guy. No, I'll keep him. Bunny, all I think of is Wally giving Amy flowers he picked this summer and how proud he was. That, that was priceless. Yeah, I mean, we have a great family. And Wally's just growing into such a good dude. Trust really extra. That, that was very generous to you. Thank you. Sexually abused three-year-olds to eight-year-olds by an older female. Raised by schools after both parents died. By 15 years old, I became demonic and evil. Did terrible things. Betrayal of friends. I now have two kids. Youngest nine months has Down syndrome. Love you, Big Bear. Redeemable help. Yes. And you don't need to give me big super chats to be redeemed. You know, it's not about... Like, that was nice of you, but that isn't 
it has nothing to do with your redemption. Yeah, no, you have, the fact you want to be redeemed and, and just you have to get on your knees, confess, beg God forgiveness, get redeemed. I'm not a real... I'm not super knowledgeable with religion, but I know I, I, I get it. I understand it tremendously. I don't get all the shit though. But unless you unless you like, hang on. So you betrayed friends, okay. Raised by schools after both parents died. Sexually abused at three. You know, if you've abused kids, I, I, theoretically, I don't think you have. You probably would have said that. Theoretically, you can be redeemed, but I still think you should be killed. If like anybody that's raped a kid, you can be redeemed for potentially your 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 tango with God, but there's no coming back from that shit. But I don't think that's you. It doesn't sound like that. It sounds like you were just a, a bad person and very selfish, but you can, of course you can. Hi, Big Bear. Do you know the Kalergi plan? Cosmo Bear. No, I don't. Sorry. Would you go on JF's show, The Public Space? No, that guy sucks. That guy's just a mean, bitter guy. He's just like, no. People are like, what, are you scared? You scared? No, he's just mean. Like, that's what I'm talking about. He'll, he'll like dedicate a whole... This is what these retards don't understand, though. He'll dedicate a whole show mocking me with my clips. You realize I get paid when he plays my clips? Like, that dumb fuck paid for my dog's doghouse. Like, these idiots... That'll like mock me on these streams and play my clips. I get that money. So keep it up, JF. He did a whole episode making fun of me because I think kazoos are funny. I checked him out. I was thinking about like debating him on, on an issue, but he's a really rancid person. And he's French, which means he probably is a sodomite. And didn't he like rape some like retarded chick or something? I don't know. I've heard stuff. Why did you move live stream outside? Because I love the outside. I love fires. For those of you that have been watching live streams for a while, uh, fires with my brother was the best. And um, I like fresh air. I don't, I, I made it a, a, a change based on what I was missing, you know, currency shit, you know? And um, I love just keeping a fire going. And uh, the fact that I have like this pavilion that keeps the rain out, but I can be in, in, in somewhat nature is, is really cool, you know? And I don't feel as like cut off. And and all you know, I also uh, gave my son the the room because it was it was a better room, you know, it was bigger, and he gets to jump on like trampolines and shit. I don't want to say that because I sound like uh, I'm like I'm trying to get people to be like, oh, you're so nice, but uh, yeah, Wally the, now Wally gets that because his room was really small, and now he gets um gets Big Daddy's uh, old stream room. You're a good man. You deserve support. Stay genuine. Thank you, Paul. Saw a great t-shirt on tfury.com. It was Beavis as the great Cornholio sitting at a table drinking coffee and the sign on the table read, I am the great Cornholio. I need TP for my bunghole. Changed my mind. I never liked Beavis and Butthead. I just didn't like it. I never did. And I'm not, I'm not saying that you're like a bad person if you like it. I just thought it was, um, it always annoyed me like a lot. I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. I was always like, because they always made such bad decisions. They were so dumb. Like they would break the the, the traffic light and, and everyone would like get in car accidents and shit and they just like giggle. I was like, who the fuck is rooting for these guys? Now let's now let's read some super chats. Um yeah, let's let's get into some funny stuff. Who is Sam Cedar? Uh, oh, no just a nobody. Like I like six months ago did the same shit that like this JF guy is trying to do where it's like these people have way smaller followings than me and they want me to react big and like start shit with them so that they get more followers. It's like, it's so dumb. If someone actually hated me and um, were a, a, a like a, a legitimate enemy or threat, like, and I thought they were like good at hating me in some level, I would absolutely engage in that. But... It's just like trolling. It's like how like these fake womanizer guys try and get chicks by like nagging and stuff and and someone blows them in a car and they think that that's like some accomplishment. It's just so dumb. I'm telling you, no wizardry is the best way to live your life. Because even back in the day when I was single and I would like, you know, hooked up with some women in my day, some women I didn't know that well sometimes. 
uh, don't recommend it. I've become more sexually conservative with my worldview. Not that I have like regrets, but like, I remember I'd have friends be like, how come women are never mad at you? Like, cause a lot of these dudes would like hook up with a chick and then the chick would be like, they'd like hate him. And that never happened to me. Like, like they'd like give me a ride somewhere or something or like, cause they were, they were usually good people that would end up like in good relationships and shit. I'm telling you what it was is that I, I, I wasn't wizardry. Like most dudes will say and do anything to get sex from women. Like I've never told a woman I loved her that I didn't love. I've never promised a girl anything. I've never pretended to be somebody I've not. It's like when you do that shit, they have a right to hate you because you fucking lied to them. And so a lot of times when dudes are like, oh, that chick is crazy. I'm like, you told her you'd open a restaurant with her, you know? And then they, they have sex with the guy and then lo and behold, the chick isn't too fucking happy about it. That's why I never had any of those problems. It was, it was cause I was like, it, it's like that consensual shit that, that people talk about. Cause like, if you lie well enough, it's really bad to get women to have sex with you based on lies. Like, I'm not like one of these fucking left, these SJW retards, but like, and say like, that's a form of rape. Cause that just sounds insane. And I, it shouldn't be like illegal or anything, but like, you got to understand how valuable sex is to women. It's like they let you put your stupid, stupid cock in them. And if it's based on a premise of lies, that's a really mean thing to do. And uh, and then they'll hate you for it. And then you'll, you'll tell all your friends that she's crazy, even though you like said that you'd go with her to like her grandpa's funeral. And then she was so excited, she like blew you. And then you never went. And she was alone and sad. Like, that's so weird. All right. Let's read some super chats. So that's my advice. Because I know, like, my honest advice at this point is save yourself for marriage and get, have a family. I know that's impossible to do. I know that makes me a hypocrite based on, you know, my life history. But I'm not saying it judgmentally. It's just, why the fuck not? You know, there could be an argument that you don't know how good you have it unless you know bad stuff, but that's insane. It's like saying you got to beat the shit out of someone so they know what it's like to not be beaten. That doesn't even make sense. But if you are going to, like, fuck around and date and shit like that, never do Tinder. Now, I've never swiped a human's face like, that shit is so dehumanizing. And you know I'm not a fucking SJW idiot. It, it, it takes all the fun out of it. It takes all the human out of, out of interacting. And it makes us like ones and zeros and shit. It's weird. It's so bad for people's souls. But uh, if you're going to do that, just don't lie to the people about who you are. You can, like, puff yourself up with attractiveness. Like, if, if you think that she, like, likes piano, like play her some piano. Like that's not wizard shit, but don't lie to anybody or else they have a right to hate you. And it, and it really takes a toll on your, on your soul. But I highly recommend just getting married and having children because you're really not missing out on anything. And if you get addicted to it, if you get addicted to the, uh, the chase, uh, if you get addicted to the first, you know, uh, hormonal releases of the first month, you're playing with fire. You can end up a real, real lonely, dirty old man. And same with women. If you want to just take all this dick and just have all the, these abortions, like you will emotionally start detaching from your future husband and children. You know, just inevitable. An empty soul. Yeah, you can, you know, it can make babies. That's worth it. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Volume sucks, makes it make it louder. Oh yeah, I turned it down, I think during the clip because I take criticism guys. Like I'll read the comments and people are like, Oh, when the clip played, it fucking blew out my, uh, my eardrum. So now when I play clips, I, I turn it down a little bit on the, um, on the volume. Cause I care and I take good criticism. If someone tells me I should kill myself and my wife's going to leave me, that's not criticism. That's, um, it's called verbal abuse. Who's got the moral high ground now? 
you wizard. I don't know what that means, but I feel like it's being funny. Don't you think Tinder reflects true human superficial nature? You wouldn't date someone you are not attracted to. No, it's, it takes it all out. You, you, it's almost like a slave trade. It's almost like, because you. it's the same reason socialism doesn't work. You don't know what you like. Like if you, if someone asked you, you know, what kind of person do you like? What kind of person are you attracted to? And you're just satisfying those thoughts you have. You don't know where those thoughts even come from. They come from media. They come from programming. They come from like one hookup you had once. They come from, you don't even know where this shit comes from. There's no eye contact. There's no like looking at mannerisms. There's no smell. Do you know that women on the birth control pill can't smell pheromones properly? And sometimes when they get off the pill after they get married, they realize they're disgusted by the person they married. That's some real shit. How come they don't teach that science in school? Too busy teaching about fucking Columbus's ship names. But Tinder, it's not about morality. It's not about like, don't call me like a Bible thumper. Right? This is like logical shit. Like the best thing, the only thing that's really exciting about dating and meeting people is just the the random chaos of it. Just the, like the, who would have thought that that girl from the pizza shop and me clicked so hard and now I'm in her bed. If you're doing this shit, like looking at cattle or you're looking at fucking cars on Craigslist, there's no spark. There's no, uh, there's nothing. It's literally just mechanical. And then if you think that like, listen, I understand like based on like religious ideas or, you know, you both have similar tastes and fucking whatever. It'll make like a uh, long-term dating better. I, I don't really fully subscribe to all that. Me and Amy met on the street walking dogs and we were in very different places in our lives and, and we turned out pretty fucking good. So I just think you, uh, you know, I think that whole Tinder bullshit, the, and then the algorithms start serving themselves and don't even know what the fuck they're serving anymore. The algorithms take over. Now the algorithms will see matches and shit that aren't even there. They become this weird autistic date maker and then you don't even know and then it starts controlling and manipulating who's having sex and who's matching like do people have not have a problem with that that's that's crazy i met my husband through his mom that's nice i think like um uh, i've never been on a dating profile thing but um some people say it like worked for them or whatever but like tinder is a special level of awful it's one thing if you're like on a, I don't even know the names of them. I think they're all kind of weird, but I've, I've known people that have met uh, someone and fallen in love off of like one of these fucking things. Like what do they call like match.com and stuff. But when it's based on fucking that night, like Tinder's based on fucking, it's like heterosexual grinder. I mean, that, that can't go anywhere positive. And it's like, Ah, it's just so gross. Algorithms. That's funny. Blackpeoplemeet.com. I thought that was called prison. <laughs> See, that's how funny I am. Tinder is not looking for relationships. Tinder is for fucking without strings attached. I can't believe they uh, hid that, that comment, Dan. I just uh, let it go. I just opened that up to the people. It's so, it's, it's weird, but... Um, Heterosexual grinder. Yeah, because I get why gays do it. Because gays can't ever have kids. So all they're doing is just trying sucking and fucking and going to Coldplay concerts as they just age. So it's actually kind of a rough life. But grinder is like 20 feet away. There's a gay guy that wants to suck your dick. And they're like, oh, great. No way. That makes a lot more sense to me because there's no option of making children or starting a family with gay guys. Sure, you can adopt and get married and you know, pretend, go through all the motions. And maybe it works every now and then. Maybe there, there's a match that makes for a stable household. The odds are basically zero and it almost never happens. So gay dudes, no matter how many times you put your cock in a dude's ass, life will never come out. The only thing that comes out is um, shit, feces. So that's why it's different. 
And that's why the concept of marriage between men is a lot different than marriage between men and women. Because men and women uh, complete each other and make life. Uh, a man and a man, they just put their dicks where shit comes out. And um, they just get really into real estate. So I get why they're just desperately reach, like trying to find orgasms in this dark, dark night, you know, at a Coldplay concert. My buddy who's gay went to a Coldplay concert and he tried to grind. He's just a dirty, dirty little bird. And uh, grinders shut down because so many homos were trying to find anonymous BJ guys at a Coldplay concert that they didn't have the bandwidth because Coldplay's designed for homos and women. Isn't that insane? It's really funny though. It just shut down. Now you guys got to laugh out of that. They make AIDS. I don't know who made the AIDS. All I know is that sex with that monkey does not sound consensual. Oh, and love what you're doing. That was oh, VHS, but that was very generous. Christ is the Savior, living in Utah, trying to minister to Mormons. Good people, but they're not seeing the gospel for what it is. We are forgiven. We can't do enough good deeds to have God's favor. He has already forgiven us. Much love. That's a beautiful thing to say. I hope that other bear heard that. Because that's why I'm not a religious figure or a minister or anything. Because I'm retarded with this shit. You know? But VHS bear gets it. Oh, and you should look into the Gnostic Demiurge. I'm down. You know, one one spiral at a time, baby. Please rant on the Illuminati imagery in Harry Potter. I don't even think J.K. Rowling wrote it. Also, can I be verified as G-Bear, pronounced J-E-E. G. Yeah, welcome, G-Bear. I have not watched Harry Potter since I've known what the Illuminati is. So I will check that out. But J.K. Rowling is an uh, open border psychopath. And um, I would love to take a new look at it. But I never liked Harry Potter. I, and I, I spent a whole night one night getting drunk with uh, Neville Longbottom, the guy from that. When I was uh, touring England with the uh, Impractical Jokers, we hung out with a bunch of the Harry Potter kids all night. And um, Neville Longbottom was a good dude, but he kept referring to fucking America as a colony. I'm dead serious. Because he was like getting drunk and all like British and shit. They, their history, they wrote it like that it was a minor rebellion and that we, they didn't really care about America that much. And they just, they're almost like fine with letting us go that they were dealing with France. It's such bullshit. And I was looking at him like, Longbottom, you know that you wanted that. Like America is the most profitable like resource in the world. And he was like, he's a good dude. I'm not talking shit about Neville Longbottom, but like the whole Harry Potter crew is, um, they like all like hate Trump, but they're nice. But they're like these little wizardy guys. I don't know. I got pretty hammered. Um, are you coming to the D.C. area anytime soon? Love you, buddy. Yeah, I'd love to. I have nothing planned right now. I have no... We, we might do a, a 30th birthday show for uh, Eric Nimmer in uh, the, the Washington state area. You know, like maybe Bellevue or Seattle area or someplace that's not a, a plane ride for me in February. But other than that, I'm not planning shit. I'm also doing a show in Vancouver in January. Ah, uh, the protests for that against me are hilarious. Glacia Bear, are you coming to the D? Oh, love the chat today. I'm a big fan of. I missed it. One second. And I just read these in order. That's the thing. Like sometimes on PayPal, I have to give priority to people who give more and stuff. But my thing is like. Give what you can and I'll treat a dollar like a hundred dollars because I don't want people because that's what happened to like share and some of these entertainers is they they make their tickets two grand so their entire audience is just gay guys and Jews. So it's like I want to know what everyone thinks and I don't want people to have to pay an absorbent ab, absorbent exorbitant exorbitant amount of money to get that. You know, it's all based on what you think you know your disposable is. And that way we're all enriched by it. And you don't, I don't feel guilty because people are like getting fucking, um, spend too much cash. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dave Ramsey. Budgeting is huge. Gotta be verified as Tim Bear Wolf. TB dubs for short, please. No, I think we're going to go formal. Welcome Tim Bear Wolf. 
People die as a person if they don't say this stuff. Totally. I 100% agree. It sets people free to say what has to be said. Oh, and ever hear of Pussy Church of Modern Witchcraft? It is so funny. I want to buy a shirt. Bad idea? No, nah, yeah, I mean, it's your, it's your shirt selection. Uh, I don't know what that is, though. It sounds fucking weird. Hey, Big Bear, can I be verified as Builder Bear? Welcome, Builder Bear. What's your best advice for a future father? The fact that you want advice means it sounds like you're going to be a good dad, but just understand that you're now going to, your, your wife is now more than just your wife. It's the mother of your child. And that's going to change stuff and be patient with, with her as she's managing all the stuff that she's going through and accept your role as protector. It's not cuck. It's not, you won't be demeaned if you truly accept it. Like I'm here to protect and to teach and to provide for. And there's times when you're completely invisible and that's the way nature and God wants it. Uh, that doesn't mean cuck. If you do a great job, your, your family will honor you as much, like more than any other time. But just know that you as an individual will fade and, and grow back and forth depending on the scenario. Like when your woman is uh, breastfeeding and up for days and, and dealing with diapers and, and her body's still uh, healing from uh, birth and stuff like you don't matter as much. And that isn't because she's demeaning you. You know, there, there's this weird thing happening now where people can't recognize the difference between being demeaned, like especially white males in America right now, constantly on uh, in media, like even this idiot can fold the laundry. <laughs> and he's like, huh, I'm fat. Between that and service. And if you're like, really do a good job, like women's instinct is to honor their man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, John Ward broke that Kevin Spacey video down proper. Check it out. His thumbnail on YouTube is Harambe. That sounds awesome. Check that out. My last $6. Just kidding. It's just a funny number. Oh, $6.90. Um, Blue Mountain Bear, BMB. I never understood why 69 is so funny. How come no one thinks 96 is funny? It's like, everyone's like, 69. It's like, well, what about 96? It's like, well, it's not funny. It's like, why isn't 96 funny? It's literally the same shape. I mean, it's like 96. Oh, I see. 96, it's like they're facing away from each other. I get it. 96 is back to back. 96 is really weird. I, I still don't think 69 is that funny. It's like dick in mouth and mouth on pussy. <laughs> like when you make someone explain why 69 is funny, it's so dumb. It's like, I'm too tall for any of that shit too. Like I've never been with a woman where that is even possible because I'm the size of a, of what a man should be sized, you know? And, um, uh, it's like, that just sounds insane. 69, 96 is after a fight. That's funny. Hey, Big Bear, any chance you could read my PayPal? I sent a couple days ago. Also, could I be verified as uh, Crony Bear? Much love. Welcome, Crony Bear. And uh, there's just no way, man. If you saw what it looked like, it, it's so hard to, um, to to find them. Like when I'm doing a stream, I can read them because they're like in an order. But other than that, um, it's tough. It's a tough um, – it, it, it doesn't like archive properly or anything. But, uh, you know, comment on here. I'll read it. Comment on the uh, on the video when this is done. Hit the like button and share, by the way. And um, hugepianist.com for my self-produced specials. For free help buying first bear house, Gmail. Is this for anybody? Uh, at Sullivan 173 No personal info required. I have a wealth of knowledge of programs and methods available to most people. By the way, I don't know who this dude is. So, like, be, you know, he could be full of information or not. So, just be, I don't know. I work at a hedge fund and can help you understand the market more. Call me Hedge Fund Bear. Welcome, Hedge Fund Bear. Um, I kind of get the market, but I don't get, I don't know. I obviously don't get the market. Hey, Big Bear, can you please verify me as the Instagram profile handle? I'd like the bears to give me a follow. Western Masculine Bear. Welcome, Western Masculine Bear, and check him out on Instagram. Hey, Big Bear, can I be verified as uh, S. Barrow? Welcome, S. Barrow. 100% behind you, brother. Just kidding. Please tell the bears to subscribe to PewDiePie so they can keep beating T-Series and subs. I like PewDiePie. It's a good white male. Gotta support your own, you know what I mean? I'm not anti-anybody, I'm just, uh, I'm a white enthusiast. Do we know about the number of human trafficking arrests are up now, or uh, are up to now under Trump since the last number, about fifteen to 20,000? 
And why does MSM not include this with the border wall debate? Because they traffic children. Mainstream media is as evil as the day is long, guys. I used to, I used to be, uh, I used to think like you guys too, where it'd be like, why won't they tell the story about this most recent heinous thing that happened to a child? And then, and then you realize that it's all they're in on it. They're, they're there just to uh, move public opinion on policy. They're not there to protect kids or report on actual news. Hey, Owen from Michael M. L. Thank you, brother. Please watch children meet someone who had an, an abortion. That sounds intense. Keep doing what you're doing. Never stop. Copy verified as geotechnical bear. Just graduated from Texas Tech with a BS in civil engineering like Amy. So thankful it wasn't gender studies. Yeah, that's a good degree. You can get a good job with that. And it also helps you organize your thoughts. Like we're still paying off Amy's um, school debts. And the beauty is, is I don't regret it at all. And she doesn't either because she learned a lot from engineering and, and she's a stay at home mom. So she's not making money off it, but it's like she really did learn of like valuable shit with an engineering degree and with, you know, English or gender studies, none of that, even history. And that was my degree. Like none of that will teach you shit. And uh, I'll teach you history. Just come, come to my channel. The financial information you're giving will make you wealthy. I have a channel called Planting Freedom. A bear that moved my family out the city, now living off the land in search of wild honey. Good for you. Check out Planting Freedom. That, that guy sounds great. Because you got to understand freedom. Freedom is the goal. Money isn't the goal. Uh, freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. BB, how about a shout out to another Clips channel? Been at it for a couple months. Clips include you, Scott Adams, NN Taleb, Sowell, Gavin, and other ideas. Channel is Dennis the Bear. You would love my sidekick bear video. Yeah, check out Dennis the Bear. Clips. The more Clips channels, the better for all this stuff because there's almost an infinite audience. It's just about getting out Clips. Like, me telling people to make more Clips channels isn't a, a negative to base text in. It won't affect one bit. In fact, those algorithms help each other. That's how it all works. It's uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. It's not a, it's not a finite. It's not a, a zero-sum game. It's it, Everybody grows. Oh, and you rock, man. I watched like an hour of Bright Insight, Atlantis vids yesterday. Thanks for the recommendation and the epic streams. Peace. Yeah, and that guy seems like a good guy too. I said to my best friend, maybe we didn't go to the moon. And she immediately replied, they erased the data tapes. May I be verified as Sundown Bear? Yes. And she sounds awesome. I don't know if you're a dude or not, but that's the type of chick you got you to gotta lock in. Did they make you take down episode 191? No, I think I numbered them wrong. I got to fix that. Dan is a major asshole. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. What are you uh, going to do, uh, stream in the snow? Maybe an ice fishing shanty that would be pretty cool. Anyway, cool stream. Thanks for the money info. I hope that was helpful. Um, even if it just sparks your interest to look into it more, uh, financial freedom is freedom. And don't just hate Jews. Like, learn from the Jews. In-group preference, financial stability, you know, ridiculous holidays that you can take off work and get paid. These aren't negatives. You know, they can be really annoying when you're on the outside of the Jewish plans. But the key isn't to hate them. It's to learn their sneaky ways. Speaking of sneaky ways and abortion, let's watch Jordan Peterson embarrass himself in front of 